What's up guys, it's your boy Darkskin, and today we're going to be talking about what you should be using your gyms on. Now, I know a lot of you guys have gyms, and you don't know if you should spend them, if you should use them, yada yada yada, whatever the case may be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys everything you need to be using your gyms for, and the stuff you should not be using your gyms for, okay? So, starting out, right? No, number one, number one. You see this banner here? You see this banner here? Do not summon on this banner. Do not use your gems on this banner. The reason why is because this is the starting banner, right? Um, all of these units are, they're not bad units, right? There's good units in here, but this is not the banner you want to summon for. You want to summon on the newer banners, okay? So um, make sure you guys are not summoning on these banners. Just save your gems as far as that goes. Um, I will be doing a should you summon video on every single banner that drops so you guys will know if you need to summon or if you don't need to summon okay so uh, you guys will have that information I, I got you guys covered I'll have you I, I got you um, but yeah so you do not want to summon on this banner this banner is a no-no now I'll probably summon on this banner because like my free-to-play challenge that I'm doing but you guys will you guys will not summon on that banner do not summon on that banner Okay, now a lot of you guys have been asking about hey dark skin um, Should I buy outfits should I buy outfits should I get outfits for my characters, etc The the answer is not right now now the reason why I say not right now is because you see how this is a SSR outfit, correct? 180 defense or 880 120 defense 2% resistance now look at the UR outfit 180 defense 2 resistance and crit chance now both of these outfits go on king. Keep in mind how outfits work. You can only have five outfit, five outfits give stats to a unit, right? So you let's say you have ten outfits. Only five of those outfits will give stats to a unit. So what you want to do is have the best statted, the best statted that what? The, basically, you want to have the best stats on your units. Like look at this, right? I have an SR outfit an SSR outfit, and then two UR outfits. The UR outfits obviously give better stats. So, looking at all of his other outfits, he only has one other UR outfit. And this UR outfit is Green Meliodas, right? So I can't even get that. There's no point in me buying SR or SSR outfits when I can just get the UR outfits when they come out and buy those. So, you're not going to be getting, you're not gonna be buying any outfits right now because none of the units have UR outfits, right? You can even look at King, right? He has a UR outfit, which this is Green King, so I can't even get that. You don't want to be buying the SSR outfits. You want to be getting the UR outfits for the um, stats, right? And um, I might make an outfits video. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. But um, yeah, you you want the outfits give stats, and UR outfits give the best stats. So you don't want to be buying them now because there's no good outfits out right now. Also, keep in mind, you guys do not want to be spending your gems on outfits for units you're not going to use. I am 100% going to use the end. I'm 100% going to use King. So later on, I'm going to buy outfits for them. I'm not going to buy outfits for, um, you know, like Green Hauser. I'm not going to be using Green Hauser. He's literally a, just a support unit for me. So I'm not going to be using, um, I'm not going to actually be using him that much, right? My main units are going to be the end king and then maybe meliodas i'm not going to be using him that much either but i will have green guild thunder that i use as well so i might end up buying outfits because green guild thunder blue guild thunder i'm using both of them but my main units are who i want to get outfits for okay so uh king is going to be a main unit uh mid to late game you guys are probably not going to be using dn as much but she's really good early um you're probably not going to be using green meliodas as much either so the only unit on your account right now that you would be um would potentially get outfits for is king honestly even if you go look at like the other units right the only units out of all of them that you would get you outfits for would be green jericho right now green king gets outfits because he's the same as blue king but as far as any other units the only other unit you'd probably get outfits for early like it would be green jericho for dps but like even then like king is basically the only unit right now that you would want outfits on so don't spend them now um later on i you guys will know all right i'll let you guys know all the information you need everything like that right 
Now, somebody was asking me, uh, Darskin, I need box space. Should I use gems to uh, expand my box? The answer is yes. Because the more you progress through the game, the more items you're going to get and the more space you'll need. You see, I already have a whole bunch of these red uh, red stones, right? So, uh, you know, upgrading it a couple times is fine. You don't, don't upgrade it to like 300, but it starts at 100, right? As you can see, I now have 129 items. I upgraded it to 150. Once I cap out at 150, I'm going to probably upgrade it to 175 and so on. You can do it as much as you want. But this is an okay thing to use. Same goes for gear. Um, you start at 50, I put mine at 60. But gear, you're not going to struggle with the gear box as much. Um, if you have a lot of gear, you literally can just go to DN and dismantle it. Right? Literally, just go to DN, dismantle the gear. I don't even have any because I've dismantled all of it. Um, also, the gear on your units does not count towards the gear in your uh, storage box. Right? Because I have gear. But um, my storage box still says 60, well, 0 out of 60, right? So, uh, we went over banners, we went over outfits, we went over box space. Um, that is pretty much it as far as um, everything like that. Now, there is a way to get stamina, right? Say you have no stamina pots, right? Say you have no stamina pots. If you go to Merlin, you're able to buy stamina. This is not worth. The only time this is worth, whenever it's the double um stamina event basically you get 100 stamina for one gym instead of 50 that's the only time this would be worth but never do this if it if it's the, the event's not out okay uh you're better off just going to your shop and getting you know getting stamina with this now i've already got a whole bunch of stamina pots i got 21 right now because i already i bought all of these stamina pots with uh the silver pendants or rare pendants or rare coins what but yeah you it's just never worth to do it like use gems for stamina um i mean that's pretty much it as far as what to use gems on i know a lot of you guys wanted to know um i'll have more guides coming out so stay tuned uh make sure you guys subscribe if you're new and all that jazz uh so that's gonna be it for this video be sure to give it a like if you enjoyed the video comment down below telling me what you guys think in the comment section below and with that being said i'll see you guys next time peace